The Boeing 747 SP is a unique variant of the 747 family. Standing for special performance, it was designed for ultra-long haul flights. Similar to the 747-100, besides the shortened fuselage, it features a larger tail area and simplified flaps. The weight saved by the shorter fuselage allows it to fly 10,800 km, which was a very long distance at that time. It was designed to meet a short body request by Pan Am and Iran Air, who needed a high capacity airliner to cover Pan Am's routes from New York to the Middle East and Iran Air's Tehran to New York route. Until the arrival of the 767, Boeing had no mid sized wide body to compete in this market. It was also intended to provide Boeing with a mid sized wide body, which would compete with the existing trijets like the DC 10s and the Lockheed L 1011 TriStar. It entered service with Pan Am in 1976, however it didn't sell its predicted 200 units and only 45 aircraft were built. Originally designated the 747SB for short body, it was later nicknamed Sutter's Balloon after the 747 chief engineer Joe Sutter. Finally, it was called the 747SP for special performance, reflecting the aircraft's increased range and its speed. Production lasted 7 years from 1976 to 1983. Although a VIP order for the Royal Flight of Abu Dhabi resulted in one last 747 SP being produced in 1987. So, until the 747 400 entered into service in 1989, the SP was the longest range airliner available. Despite the plane's technical achievements and the increased fuel prices in the mid 1970s to the early 80s, the SP's expensive cost the reduced capacity and the increased ranges of upcoming airliners were just some of the factors that contributed to its low sales. Only 45 were built, and of those that remain, most are being used by Middle Eastern carriers. However, the 747 SP wasn't a total loss for Boeing. Much of the research that went into the program was later used in development for the 747 300 and also the 400, so at least a large portion of the research and the development cost later helped them profit. Now, a special 747 SP is a stratospheric observatory for infrared astronomy, or SOFIA for short. The plane is essentially a flying telescope, with a square section in the rear of the aircraft opening during flight to reveal a 2.5 meter diameter reflecting telescope, as no windows were suitable. Its high altitude allows it to rise above 99% of the light absorbing water vapor in the atmosphere, resulting in much clearer images. Astronomers take data and control the instrument from within the normally pressurized cabin. Originally delivered to Pan Am and titled the Clipper Lindbergh, NASA has the name displayed in the script on the port side of the aircraft. So there you go captains, that was a short history of the 747 SP. If you have any thoughts or opinions then share them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.